Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. As you can tell, my demeanor's calmed down over the last few, probably 30 minutes, I'll argue that. But I wanted to say something that's pretty cool, actually. I to say. I'm, and as you see down the tile below, a milk. I got this out of a Huffington Post this story about a gay teen that is basically trying to help his family, who happens to be a Christi Christian family, by proving that they're not all bigots. Basically, it is, as it goes, not in all a and they didn't put the C in so don't worry about you don't have to worry about science here if you understand it <laughs> Christians not all Christians L like and T for that and the reason why I chose to be a Nolt is because, turns out, I know a lot of people who happen to be homosexual. And I am proud to know that. I will not lie, it was shocking. Because, I guess you could argue that I have homophobic tendencies. And if it's anything, it's ignorance. Is because I don't know personally. I treat it as if they have the same sexual drive as a man might if he saw my part of their bodies. But I would never say, I would never treat them badly. I just don't know what turns them on, really. And that's really the problem. I assume now that you. I don't. That it doesn't matter. I respect them. And yes, I know it sounds like a big tip thing to say. I guess I shouldn't be saying I'm an adult. But I happen to be one as an I am. Absolutely support you guys having a lifestyle of your own and everything. Okay. And I am not a bigoted Christian as an I think you're all, you know, ew, gross. No. I just think you guys have an interest in each other. And. And since that point on, I have, have matured. And past that whole thinking you guys are looking at me in a sexual way because I'm a woman. Because, hey, there are men who don't find me attractive. So, why would I assume another woman would, who has that sexuality, or not sexuality, but, uh, how to put it? sexual drive like a man might have. And even then, that's a unrealistic <laughs> Oh, can't sit there. Sorry, T. And why I love this art about this article is it made me feel a little bit better. Now of course, as I read the article I noticed a few things about it that put me off. Not because it's for, you know, support of the LGBT but because of where it's coming from. Because it sounds like these were people, I noticed that they used a lot of people who were already, that were members of the LGBT, who have gone on and went to help people who are part of it, which is great. Just like, hey, believe it or not, back the 50s entrance made a lot of people who were, you know, white, and their skin crawls, everyone else's skin crawls, sorry, someone's coming on the street, so. <laughs> You're gonna give me a oh, 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 oh. Sorry, I know everyone hates that stupid song, I hate it too. 
<laughs> Damn you, Katy Perry. Anyways, what I liked about the article was I like that now there are people who are Christian that they remarked about, but there are Christians out there who are getting, you know, in trouble for standing up for gay rights. It's because, albeit I'm not gay, that does not make me a bigot. It does not exclude me from the situation because it does affect me. Because I do have people in my life that deserve that I feel in every way, shape, or form. And it wouldn't matter if they were part of my family or not. That deserve to be a free and have the same rights as I do. Because if that's the only thing that's wrong with them, and it's not even anything wrong with them anyways, hey, this is how they were born, then what's your problem? At the same time, I like knowing that there are Christians that support the LGBT. It makes me feel better because, well, I support it too. I'll be, uh, yeah, you're not going to see any videos just like that. This video, this whole channel of mine is me central usually. Hey, and how I see things from my point of view. Yeah. But at the same time, I want people to know who happen to be Christians like me, who are not bigots, that do actually support the LGBT, who are not hateful of other people, huh. and are not closing down, you know, birth clinics, and actually are quite pissed off at that concept, and like I am. And not just, oh yeah, that too, there are men who support, just like men support women's rights, just like there are men, just like there are women who support men's rights. You know, all's fair, folks. <laughs> now, is it saying that there might be some behavior that you might see on my channel that comes off a bit bigoted? Maybe. Hey, but, I have said myself, we're all bigots. We don't have things that bug us about some other culture or people. Uh, you just heard me have a tirade through a tirade at Japan, and I like Japan. And, of course, that was because of, yeah, and there are men out there who do not like women. However, they love their wives. That doesn't change anything. Just because she's, uh, giving it to you every night does not mean you're in support of female rights. Meaning, you have to treat all women respect, regardless of whether she's your mother, or your wife, your sister, your niece, your cousin, all those people. Women, men, and singles with women. Tired of the Electra, the complex folks, it's ridiculous. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Back on. <laughs> so I don't die from wearing this hat, but who cares? I like it. Anyways, what I didn't like was it seemed like they only might have picked out some people who are already members of the LGBT, anyways, which might still kind of. I just don't want Christians thinking that, eh. It's kind of like, well, when I read this article. You know, I'm supportive of the LGBT, and I like that they want to say, it's alright if you're a Christian and you support the LGBT. You're not against your faith. However, eh, I just don't want, because I know there's probably someone up there in our gov good old American government stating that if you're a Christian, and you follow these things, you're defecting from your base. You're evil, you're wrong, you're bad, you're this, you're that. Or, using it as a, 
when you say, well, no, when we don't allow gay people to marry, it doesn't mean we don't like gay people. We just don't want them to marry. Yeah, think about that. It's pretty easy to make an assessment of how they look at these things. I don't understand people in our culture, or any other culture for that matter, and I try, I really try, but whenever I think of these kinds of cultures, yeah, I'm very, very, very careful about certain things like this. But anyways, thanks for listening, and I will, I will put the article a link in the description, and I ask you all to follow me on my Tumblr, my Twitter, and, if not, at least, <laughs> follow me on my Goodreads. And I plan on having some book reports coming out soon, and I love to talk about book reports. Anyways, bye! This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Room. To you and